What's up, folks? Mason George, Mason George Motorcycles here. Welcome back. If you happen to be new, don't forget to subscribe. So today's little project, I feel like uh, be a good little video, is something that we do kind of quite often, and that is Carb Clean DRZ400. These things, the owners, for some reason, have a history of neglect. Um, they're really great bikes, but people forget to change the oil, and then they blow up, and a lot of times... I've had like, this is like the third or fourth one in the last year that they just let sit for months and then it won't run. It'll kind of run with the choke on, but you know, typical, no good. So let's dig into her here and I'll kind of show you what I do to these things to get them to run good again. This one, I'm gonna do a couple other things too while it's here, but different, uh, different stuff. We're just gonna focus on the carburetor on this video and getting it running good. So like I said, DRZ400, they make this bike in the Enduro and a Super Motard version. Uh, both really cool bikes. This one's got a little danglage there. And the gauges don't work on this one. So it does run and everything, but the gauges, no work. Chokes down here, we'll put that bad boy on. Make sure the fuel's on. does fire up with a choke on. Oops. Yeah, as soon as you turn the choke off though, totally dies, even when it's warm it does that. So we are going to tear into her and I'm gonna tear into it before it's super warm again. So I already let it cool off. Carburetor's in there. Not the easiest one in the world to get off. We're gonna start, take the seat off, side panels, gas tank to kind of give us some room and uh, we'll fish that out of there. So a couple eight millimeters and uh, a couple 10 millimeters that hold the uh, shrouds on there. We'll get you into here. Now this is where the fun really starts because getting this thing out is uh, not awesome. We'll take this side panel off the throttle linkage, we can loosen that up and get that off and then twist the carburetor and pull it this way and it should pop right out of there. So this little electrical guy right here, this is just a throttle position sensor and if you follow it up, there's a connector right up here. You just simply unconnect that, it pulls right apart. There's a little dicky do there. And then you don't really have to worry about this thing, but I wouldn't soak the, if you. If you're using an ultrasonic cleaner, I would definitely take this out before you uh, put it in the ultrasonic. So if you come from the other side, it's a lot easier to get to the throttle cables. A nice little 10 mil. You can loose the, loosen these bad boys up. And if you see there's a little slot right there, they will slide out of the slot. Make sure you pay attention to this one goes in the front, that one's in the back, no big deal. So I apologize for not having a tripod today, but basically what I do here is I use a tire iron and I go move all the wires out of the way, sneak her through there and then pull the air box rubber back. That will allow the carburetor top to come out, rotate over. You can get your throttle cables off here and then it's just gonna pop right out this way. And just like that, this big, beautiful Makuni carburetor is out and it's leaking gas. Nice. Let's crack it open and see what it looks like on the inside. So now that we got the carburetor out, these screws here hold on the float bowl. And to me, these look like replacements. I think someone's been in here because the adjustment, normally there's a plug where you can't get to that. So somebody's probably already been in here. Now you could use a regular Phillips, but with the stock screws, I highly recommend using a impact driver because you know, 11 times out of 10, these things like to strip out. All right, we're into her now, and you can see we got some stuff at the bottom of the bowl, and this is definitely enough to cause you problems. This jet right here, this is normally the one that is going to clog first and give you the most issues, but carburetor's off. We are going to take all the jets out, take everything apart, and thoroughly clean this thing just to be sure, because if one thing is clogged, other passages might be dirty, you might as well just clean it up right. So the other jets don't look too bad, but this one, 
this one is clogged. Can't see through it at all. So we're gonna clean this bad little boy out. Now they sell kits, which is a bunch of wires for jet cleaning. And I always try, you know, chemical stuff first, but this one was really dirty. But now we can see right through it. And that's what we were looking for. Well, and just like that, she's running a lot better. Still needs a bit of a fine tune, but not too bad. All right, guys, the day got long and I forgot to make an ending to the video, but basically the DRZ ran good. Fine tuning wise on, on those kind of bikes, actually all the four strokes and all that, the fuel air screw that I showed you guys that's not normally accessible, um, that plug's gone, so obviously somebody's already been in there. They had it set way crazy out, but basically I put it at two turns and then fine adjustment from there, and I couldn't find a factory spec on it. Normally between one and a half and three is where the factory sets it. So basically I started at two and then you fine tune as far as going in and out and you're gonna look for the idle to go up. So when the idle goes up and it hits its peak, back off about a quarter of a turn and then adjust your idle down so it idles normal. Give it some gas, make sure it's brapping, brapping like it should. And uh, yeah, that is kind of how you tune a four stroke. That's uh, the, the simple, easy, get you real close kind of way. And uh, if you're looking for more information as far as getting it perfect, you need to bring it to somebody like me or um, go to school for that stuff. But Hope the video helped you guys. Good luck on your DRZ 400. As you can see, I'm home and I got projects at home and all that good stuff because motorcycles is just addicting. Thanks for tuning in. If you happen to be new, please subscribe while you're here. See you guys on the next one.